Kansas City got a emergency for you. All right. Uh, I got a United aircraft coming in, lost number two engines, having a hard time controlling the aircraft right now. He's at a 29,000 right now, and descending into Sioux City right now. He's, he's to your VOR, but he wants the equipment standing by right now. Uh, radar contact. Okay, so you know we have almost no sure. controllability. Uh, very little elevator and almost no Elon. Uh, we're controlling the turns by power. I don't think we can turn right, but I think we can only make left turns. Well, we're starting a little bit of a left turn right now. I mean, we can only turn right, we can't turn left. United 232 Heavy, uh, understand, sir. Uh, you can only make right turns. That's affirmative. 232 Heavy, say souls on board and uh, fuel remaining. We have 37.6 fuel and we're counting the solar. Roger. United 232 Heavy, Sioux City. We have no hydraulic fluid, which means we have no elevator control, uh, almost none, and very little aileron control. I have serious doubts about making the airport. Have you got uh, some place near there uh, that we might be able to ditch? Unless we get control of this airplane, we're going to put it down wherever it happens to be. United 232 Heavy, roger. Uh, stand by one. United 232 Heavy, uh, say again. 232 Heavy, do you think you'll be able to hold about a uh, 240 heading? Okay, we'll try and turn to it right now. Roger. Uh, when you get turned to that uh, 240 heading, sir, the airport will be about, oh, 12 o'clock and 38 miles. Okay, uh, we're trying to uh, control it just by power alone now. We have no hydraulics at all, so uh, we're doing our best here. Roger, and uh, we've notified the equipment out in that area, too, sir. The equipment's here on the airport standing by, and they're sending some out to that area. We do, uh, we're going to have to continue one more right turn. We've got the elevators pretty much under control within three or 400 feet, but we still can't get much of the security. United 232 Heavy, Roger. I understand you do have the elevators uh, possibly under control. We better hold out, too. Negative. We don't have it. We uh, are better, that's all. Roger. United 232 Heavy, there is a small airport at 12 o'clock and uh, 7 miles. The runway is 4,000 feet long there. Hey, uh, I'm controlling it myself right now. As soon as the captain gets back on, he'll give me a hand here. He's talking on PA. Roger. Okay, United 232, we're starting a left turn back to the airport. Uh, we have, since we have no hydraulics, braking is going to really be a problem. Uh, I would suggest the equipment be towards the far end of the runway. And uh, I think under the circumstances, regardless of the condition of the airplane when we stop, we're going to evacuate. So you might notify the uh, ground crew equipment that we're going to do that. United 232 Heavy, uh, Wilco, sir. And if you can continue that left turn to about a uh, 220 heading, sir, that'll take you right to the airport. You know, 232 Heavy, you're going to have to widen out just slightly to your left, sir, uh, to make the turn to final, and also that'll take you away from the city. Whatever you do, keep us away from the city. Uh, 232 Heavy, been advised there is a four-lane highway uh, up in that area, sir, if you can pick that up. Okay, we'll see what we can do here. We've already put the gear down, and uh, we're going to have to be put on something solid if we can. United 232 Heavy, roger. Uh, the airport's currently at your 1 o'clock position, 1 zero miles. And United 232 Heavy, uh, if you can't make the airport, sir, there is an interstate that runs uh, north to south to the east side of the airport. Uh, it's a four-lane interstate. We're just passing okay. it right now. We're going to try for the airport. United 232 Heavy, roger. And advise when you get the airport in sight. Got a runway in sight. We'll be with you very shortly. Thanks a lot for your help. United 232 Heavy, the wind's currently 360 at 11. 360 at 11, you're cleared to land on any runway. <laughs> You want to be particular and make it a runway, huh? Zero one zero at one one, and there is a runway uh, that's closed, sir. That could uh, probably work too. The south it runs uh, northeast to southwest. Pretty well lined up on this one, or I think we will be. United two thirty two heavy, uh, Roger, sir. Yeah, that's a closed runway. That'll work, sir. We're getting the equipment off the runway, and they'll line up for that one. How long is it? At the end of the runway, it's just a wide open field, so sir. So the length won't be a problem. Okay. Well, but what's the situation out there? 10-4, you're going to need a lot of additional assistance out there, it sounds like. 10-4, I got engine 3, engine 5, and truck 3. I'm going out to the scene now. I'll advise you in just a few minutes. 10-4, I'm going to go ahead and go on route out there to the command post. Let me advise anything that you need. I'll have the comm center go ahead and notify emergency hospitals and all.